Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be covering some hot news that you should hear. And if you haven't already, subscribe, support the channel, and hit the bell and get your latest crypto news. Solana is seeing a drop in NFT and DeFi usage. So, what does that mean? Does that mean that we're going to winter? Well, guess what? Uh, it might not be enough, but the blockchain uses across both DeFi and NFT landscapes have been falling recently. Now, stating that the nosedive, Solana has slumped down to the 8th spot in the total TVL, a third lower than a month ago, and then 10% lower than just a week ago. A peak bull market season was last year, and Solana's DeFi TVL amassed to around $10 billion, but today it is around $1 billion, and over a quarter of Solana's TVL living within the lending platform, Solund. Now, Solana's de uh, descent is, well, has been certainly at a higher clip and than competitors, and the chain is in serious danger of actually falling out of that even top 10 spot. Now, it didn't help to have the $100 million exploit, of course, to mange markets in those recent weeks, which uh, concluded with a, with a bug bounty that drained the protocol, uh, but reimbursed retail investors, right? So it's not all very, very sad for Solana, but there are plenty of opportunities for growth and development beyond DeFi. However, the picture around NFT doesn't seem too much brighter either. Now, Solana has been considered the de facto number two in, D in NFTs behind Ethereum, and their pos position could be at risk. Oh, well, never say never, but the NFT ecosystem at large continues to grow, and so does the threat of that position for Solana. Uh, Mamba even tweeted, for the first time in over a year, Solana is not number two in NFT sales while behind Ethereum. So, Aptos blockchain as well as a more, as more legacy chains like Cardano, Avalanche, Hedera, and even Ripple have been making firm strides in NFT investments and community building. Now, the chains are certainly not at Solana's level, but they are, well, there are threats to them uh, as far as any NFT Afikando's radar as well. Also, a crypto lender platform freeway is suspending trading services and that token is falling to earth now uh freeway suspended that on they announced this on sunday after suspension the latest indication of stress in the cryptocurrencies uh, sector is kind of being noted now a crypto lender business offering interest bearing cryptocurrency accounts announced this this is freeway all right. Um, now, Freeway said that the move was due to ongoing extraordinary volatility in foreign exchange and crypto markets and said it would now focus on ensuring the sustainability of its business. Now, it, uh, it said that it has decided to diversify its asset base to manage exposure to future market fluctuations and volatility, uh, <clears throat> volatility to ensure its ecosystem long-term sustainability and profitability. Now, with all of this being said, Freeway is joining major crypto lending platforms like Voyager Digital, Celsius Networks, um, Babel Finance, and amongst some others. Now, to, sus to suspend trading and withdrawals like the firm, other platforms that suspended withdrawals to users cited facing unusual liquidity pressures. As they're saying this as for the reason for freezing their operations. So many cases of crypto lenders are actually being brought down by the spiraling prices of crypto point to cryptocurrencies being a heavily leveraged asset class. In June, Singapore did base, uh, based hedge fund Three Arrows Capital saw its assets under management plunge by over 70%, and that's because of its heavy investments in the collapsed Terra USD stablecoin. Now, it did actually lead to a spillover uh, uh, and causing Voyager Digital, Celsius Network, and many others to actually suspend the trading deposits and their withdrawals as well. All right. Last but definitely not least, Binance has burned over 1.34 billion Terra Classic tokens. Right, we all remember Terra Luna, right? So with the latest burn, Binance has sent nearly that well, almost 13 billion Luna C tokens uh, to the total burn address. However, the Terra Classic burns by Binance dropping is a minor concern for the community. As a result, the Luna C price fell about 5% in the last 24 hours. Now, Binance, uh, them doing this on... Well, the 24th, right, Binance revealed it burned over that 1.34 billion in the fourth batch of its weekly Binance burn mechanism. And the transaction fee for the burn transaction is around 2.68 million Luna tokens. Now, it's, um, it's already burned 12, 12 and a half billion, uh, but uh, the Binance Lunacy burn has dropped continuously over the week. So uh, CZ suggested reducing the burn tax 
increase off-chain and on-chain transactions. Now, the community has passed Proposal 5234, which is actually trying to reduce that burn tax to 0.2% and set 10% fun, uh, funds for the community pool. And it's already revised changes to the tax burn last week, and the next Binance Loon Burn will be crucial for the community to determine if they reduce tax increase trading volumes. Now, uh, Terra Rebels, the group behind the Terra Classic Revival Roadmap, launched its official YouTube channel for educating the community on all aspects of Terra Classic blockchain, and Terra Rebels has also proposed the Terra Classic Grants Program to manage the funds of the community pool. So after the Binance burn, the price fell uh, to about 0 0.00022. Now in the last 24 hours, it did plunge over 5%. We just spoke about that, right? To nearly 20%. Now the community has burned 24 billion tokens altogether, and the burn rate has decreased, but below 700 million tokens per day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Do subscribe, drop a comment as well, and I will see you guys again next time.